Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Newsmakers Podcast. We're at the AHR Expo talking about indoor air quality, which has been getting a lot of attention since COVID. We're going to be joined by Brooks Ingracia, I believe I got that right, who is on the board of directors for NATCA, the National Air Duct Cleaners Association. Thanks for joining us, Brooks. Hey, Kyle. Thanks for having me. Obviously, like I said in the intro, there's been a buzz about indoor air quality for more than a few years now. Uh, so since the COVID-19 pandemic be- began, uh, there's more and more awareness. Um, it's becoming a huge part of the national and global conversation. How does air duct cleaning fit into that bigger concept of indoor air quality? Yeah, you know, great question. Um, and I talked a bit about this in my presentation this morning. You know, the, the general public coming out of the pandemic is so much more concerned in, and uh, uh, focused on indoor air quality. You know, is the air in my building safe? Uh, duct cleaning is not the only solution. However, part of our process is referred to as the source removal process. So we're removing dust, debris, particulate, uh, possibly mold spores inside the duct system from it. Uh, and duct cleaning can be added as part of the overall HVA system health. So we want to we want to look at the whole system. Duct cleaning is just one portion of it. Okay. So yeah, in addition to health, there's always going to be there's also going to be an energy savings and an energy efficiency aspect of it. I'm um, just kind of curious, uh, you folks with NACA, how are you proving that? Uh, which I assume would would greatly help in the sales process. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, NACA this year we've got a lot of cool stuff going on, um, and, and we launched four different studies, two nationally here at the University of Colorado Boulder, under the direction of uh, Dr. Mark Hernandez. And then we have two going on in the University of Pavia, Italy, under the uh, direction of Dr. I'm going to try to make sure I get this right, Focanetti. <laughs> Your name was easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and what we're doing over uh, at Boulder and in Pavia is we're cleaning the entire system. So everything from the condenser coil to water coils, reheats, the ducts, the fans. We're, and then we're also measuring what's the energy efficiency on that, what's happening with particulate count, what's happening with CO2 levels, what's happening with occupant load. We're gonna take all that information here uh, toward the latter half of 2023, uh, review our data, publish it, have it peer reviewed, and then NACA will have a, uh, a whole scientific study to show the energy efficiency behind cleaning HVAC systems. Okay, great. So, C- Curious about the, the association in general. Like, What, what else are you guys up to? What are your, your kind of goals for the year? Yeah, yeah. So NATCA has been not only working on science, but we and, and that's our, our big thing is we are trying to ground ourselves in science. And so in part in doing that, we're working with other associations, whether it's GBAC, uh, the Global Bio Aerosol Council, um, whether it's ABRA or, or the American Industrial Hygiene Association, um, obviously the EPA or, or the Indoor Air Quality Association, because we want to put that that data, that, right, that quantitative figures around cleaning HVAC systems, cleaning mechanical systems, and showing how it in real time is improving the indoor air quality within a facility. And as we kind of continue to grow, we're trying to stay up with the times of the ever-changing uh, indoor air quality industry. You know, you look at all the products here at AHR, right, all these new sensors that are measuring real-time data, how's the air doing, what are the VOCs in the air, what's the particulate load in the air. Uh, a great example, my wife uh, has one of those new technologies where she has an in-room filtration mounted on her classroom. She's a teacher back home, and it's got a particulate meter right there on the right there on the uh, display. So when the kids are sitting down and everybody's cool, it usually turns off. Everybody gets up, get ready for recess, lots of activity in the room. It kicks on, cleans the air so that everybody's breathing healthy inside the classroom. Gotcha. So. And it seems like, uh, as we're here at HR, it's a natural progression for the HVC contractor to get into duct cleaning to expand their business a little bit. Uh, for someone maybe listening, thinking, yeah, that might be for me. Can you kind of maybe walk them through the process, maybe some pitfalls, what they should be thinking of? Yeah, yeah. So believe it or not, and I was actually just telling a, one of the other members here with us, uh, if this was happening 12 years ago, you and I are now on a sub-sandwich podcast because that's what I was doing 12 years ago. Really? Um, I am not from the HVAC industry. Um, bless my father's heart. He tried for years to teach me how to read a tape measure. I was just not mechanical. <laughs> and so I got into the HVAC via a uh, or the mechanical cleaning and duct cleaning, system, uh, duct cleaning industry uh, via a gentleman who sold controls for Johnson Controls. And so here we are. Uh, 12 years later, speaking at AHR here with you. So if you're looking to add this to uh, to your HVAC company, I would say looking for guys that may not have any experience, you know, because then you can mold them. Then definitely uh, hook yourself with NADCA. 
attend, you know, we have our uh, annual meeting coming up at the end of March, much like AHR. We have, NACA has their own annual meeting. Attend that, attend some general sessions where you can get some uh, hands-on training and, and education about our industry from industry experts like myself or other doctors in our field. And then, you know, link up and find on our website where you can get your ASCS certification, your CVI certification. So then that person is skilled and qualified to go out there and clean air ducts. And if we were doing a podcast on sub sandwiches, I, I'd be a good host. Yeah, fair <laughs> I'm enough. Not fair lie enough. To you. Yeah, I've uh, I've had my fair share. <laughs> if you're going to give one tip for someone who's interested in exploring the HVC system, cleaning, and inspection industry, what would it be? Yeah. So you know, kind of like I just said, um, you're, you're going to want to dive into what NATCA has to offer. Um, NATCA, our, NATCA's focus is to make our membership the leading experts in the mechanical system cleaning industry. And so you're gonna want to explore some of those membership benefits and how uh, even just networking at a NACA event can be so educational for a new member. You know, whether it's pouncing off questions or or showing us a project and saying, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. Can you walk me through this? You know, I actually serve as a regional coordinator for, uh, for NATCA that anybody in the Midwest who gets their start day one, they can reach out to me and, and begin to have questions and, and a real life answer there via email, via phone, um, just being a member of NACA. Where should we direct people if they want to look into becoming a member of NACA? Uh, NADCA.com. And we have a booth here as well. All right. Perfect. Thanks for taking the time today, bro. Not a problem. Thank you so much.